lucky to get an equalizer and then the penalty and then the opportunities that came their way, they didn't seem like they delivered like the Brazil of old that we know. Well, there's one thing we can actually take away from um, um, the host Brazil, and that is the fact that they are actually under pressure. Um, um, and then again, we actually cannot take away the fact that we actually had the 12th player on the, on the field of play, and that is the fans. Um, there was a lot of pressure and intensity um, within the um, Brazilian squad, and they knew they actually had to live up to the billing expectations going into the, the tournament and then again as in the fact that they are the country with the highest number of um, World Cup trophies um, have, um, and they have five in their, in their kitty and knowing fully well that they, needed, they need to actually show that, um, that poise, they need to actually display the brilliance that they are actually expected to actually live up to. However, it's um, quite um, interesting to know that the, the, it was more of self-pressure the pressure was more from inside than outside. And even at that, they did not handle it very, um, quite well. There was much more of individual displays than team work. And that in itself actually affected the whole, the overall performance of the Brazilians. We, we might actually see them coming up better in their next game. However, giving them the first outing, it's not looking like anything really might actually come for. I'm giving them most likely um, um, quarterfinals to see them far and um, far. If they continue further. to play if they like this. If they continue to play like this, quarterfinals, they're, they're about. However, beyond quarterfinals, I'm not so sure about Brazil as going forward. Okay, especially but when yeah. you look at the way, even the goal that was scored, the penalty kick by Neymar was not completely compelling and convincing. convincing. It, it, was, it wasn't. It was, even his first goal, he was in, in his, in, for his first goal, he was quite fortunate because the um, goalkeeper was actually caught more or less, as in out of out of out of his shadows, so to speak. As in, if if not if not for if not for that, Brazil were really not steady. They were really they were, they looked a lot shaky. I, I, I'll give credit to the defense, to the Brazilian defense, at least um, to a great deal. They were in that game. However, overall, it didn't look like the performance that people actually anticipated from the Brazilians, and that in itself actually has dampened a lot of hope concerning how far they will go.